for coming in. Mate. Kath, good to see you. Congratulations <laughs> on the new show. Lovely set you've got here. We've got some uh, got some you. birds in the background there. Yeah. Look, looks looks fantastic. <laughs> hey, listen, I'm actually a bit nervous about you being here. You should be. I'm worried you're going to do magic, but I see that you haven't brought anything with you, so I'm kind of relieved. Well, I've got pockets. You never know what a magician has in their pockets. So. <laughs> but listen, you must love your job. I do. Yeah? It's, it's more fun than uh, working in an, in, in an office. Not so fun as banging a drum, possibly, but no, it's, it's, it's good fun. <laughs> Have you ever had a job that you hated? I did. I had a job that I hated for a while. Well, not, not, not hated, but it was a, a nine-to-five job, and yeah. that's okay, but it um, wasn't for me. Yeah. So. so how did you get into magic? I got into magic. I was about six or seven years old, and I saw David Copperfield vanish uh. into the Bermuda Triangle, and I thought, oh... That's a good career move. So. You're not, you're not going to make me vanish to say, are you? <laughs> not today, no. Bring me back. I'll do it. <laughs> so, so you grew up basically doing magic? I did, yes. I used to annoy my parents, annoy my brothers with uh, silly little card tricks, and now I get paid to annoy people, so that's good. Brilliant. Okay. And what, what's a bad day for you? Do you have bad days in your job? A bad day would be a room full of screaming kids, all hyped up on sugar, running around. <laughs> and, uh, well, that's not so bad, but the parents all at the back chatting, uh, then you're just a, a paid babysitter, really. But yeah. uh, that's that's few and far between. Normally, normally it's good. Normally it's good. And what about your best day? Best day, you walk in, you don't know anyone. At the end of a show, you're friends with everyone. They come up, they say there was a great show. Take, you, take, you, you take people back to childhood, so that's that's a nice experience. Actually, yeah, I, it's an interesting thing about magic. What what do you think is so compelling about it? Well, I think normally we go through life and we don't really have that many surprises. I mean, think back to when you're a child, basically everything's magic. You yeah. know, you don't, you don't know how the world works, but yeah. you grow up and you, I think people lose that, lose that, um, that feeling of what it's like to be a, a, a child. So magic, magic brings that back, so it's nice. Yeah, and I guess it's, everything's possible, isn't it? Of course it is. Once, yeah. once you're grown up, it's a bit more about necessity sometimes yes. than possibility. All right, so have you got some magic that you can do for us today? No, sorry. <laughs> You're worse than the drum guy. <laughs> Too many surprises he was today. Good, the drummer guy, wasn't he? He's, <laughs> He's good. brilliant. I love it. Would you like to see a piece of magic there, I Kath? really would. Okay, deck of cards, all different, all mixed. Oh, yes. Say yes. Say yes. Okay, all, yeah. in fact, you can shuffle them up, Kath. People Ooh. think that I cheat, okay? Oh, no, I would have practiced this if I'd known. <laughs> all very professional. Um, good stuff, wonderful. So, what I want you to do, Kath, reach in there and take out any card you want. Doesn't matter if I see it, makes my job easier. Hold it up, show the camera, show all the viewers Which at home. Am I showing this one? Are we good? All right, so Kath, what I want you to do, take the pen and big letters so everyone can see. Can you please write your name on there, big letters, so everyone can see, okay? And it doesn't matter if you've seen this. That's fine. Mm -hmm. no. Okay. A trusting okay. soul, very good. Okay. okay, after you've done that, I'll take back the pen and show everyone your name on there, your writing. Let's get a close up. Good stuff. Now, be honest with me, Kath, how many cards have you written on today? None. Here's a clue. Oh, one. Just, just, <laughs> just the one, okay? I've got attention span <laughs> That's fine. Enough. Focus. All right, have some more okay, coffee. Okay. All right. Now, uh, there's, there's, uh, there's only one of these cards in the world, which is why I had you sign your name on there. Mm -hmm. Okay, now the signature is dry, doesn't come off, and your card goes roughly into the middle of the deck. Now, Kath, it stays there until I do the secret move. Yeah. Just a snap, and then like an elevator, one card jumps back up to the top. Now, you didn't know what to look for, I'll do it again, okay? Very slowly, very fairly. This time, I'll put it even deeper down. It stays there until I do the secret move, just a snap, and then it jumps to the top, all by itself. Any questions? Yeah, how the hell did you do that? Please tell me. Should I do it one more time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Slow motion, okay. okay. So it definitely does go in the middle. Some people think I cheat. Would yeah. you say that that was roughly the middle there, Kath? Yeah. In fact, I'll even spread them out so everyone can see it really does go in there. Because magicians don't do it again because no, they, they you're don't. Looking. No, you, you do it again. Yeah. Game's over. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but it really does go in there. Yeah. Um, you can you can see the uh, the uh, the the writing on there. Yeah. Okay. And uh, some some people think that maybe I've got a whole deck of twos, which is why I had you put your name on there. Okay. So it goes in the middle of these ones. These ones now go in the middle of those ones. So now it's in the middle of the middle. It's not on the bottom. It's not on the top because I have not done the secret move. I do the secret move, just a snap, and then like an elevator, Kath, one card jumps to the top. That's an applause cue in the studio. <laughs> All right. Yeah, make, make, sure, make sure we mic that applause up. All right. Did you see the concentration on my face? I'm like, <laughs> I'm going to catch him out. I'm going to catch him out. And are you ready for the big finish there, Kath? I am. Okay, hold out your hand flat like a little table. This time your card goes on here. These ones go on the top. You snap your fingers. You turn over the top card. I'm not going to touch it. Show the camera. Oh, what do you think? It's just like Destiny Church. Okay. So what, what was that one? <laughs> I don't know. Hard to say. I don't know if I like magic. It's stressing okay. me. Well, do it like me. Do two, do 200 shows a year. You'll hate it. That's good. <laughs> That's 
brilliant. But listen, how do you learn this stuff? Uh, well, there's, there's, there's two parts to magic. Um, the first part is the trick. Yeah. The second part is making it entertaining, making people care about it, yeah. uh, having people take it seriously yeah. is another big one, especially in New Zealand. Oh, did I say that out loud? Oh, okay. Um, so the f first part is learning a trick. Any, anyone can learn a trick out of a book, yeah. out of a DVD, even on YouTube. Uh, but learning how to be an entertainer is slightly harder, I think. That, that's, that's what really takes the time. So. But where are the answers? Because magicians are always very cagey about, oh, you know, you, nobody will ever tell you how to do a trick. No. Well, there are magicians in, in New Zealand, and mm -hmm. if, if you're friends with a magician, and if they take you seriously, and if uh -huh. they know that you respect magic, uh -huh. um, and that you're not going to go around telling secrets, then they, they will I teach you. I won't tell. I won't mm. tell. Teach me one. Will you teach me one? No. <laughs> No way. I, say, I couldn't even get him to tell me what trick he was going to do today. <laughs> no, I'm very cagey. Have you got more stuff? <laughs> I have got more stuff. Go on, do some more stuff. More stuff? More stuff. Do okay. some more stuff? Right. Let's do some more stuff. Okay, the camera's going to have to come in nice and close because on the back of this deck of cards, there's a little drawing of me. Can you see the little man on there, Kath? Little, yes. little drawing of me. Cute. He's been on a diet. So what I want you to do is to think of any card in the deck. Now I've got them all here, so just think of any one you want. Now don't think of a common one like the Ace of Spades or the Queen of Hearts. Think of one that I would never uh, guess. Oh, you're hypnotising me. Now Did all I can think of is those cards. <laughs> Alright, think, think of one that I would never guess. Okay. Have you got one? Yeah. Would you like to change your mind? No. Happy with the mind you have? All the old gags are coming out, it's terrible. Okay, Kath, which, which card are you thinking of, if you can tell me? Are you sure I can tell you? Yes, please. Six of diamonds. Six of diamonds. Now, I want to be very fair, uh, Kath. You can stay with these six of diamonds, yeah. or you can change your mind and think of a different card. Right. What are you going to do? You want me to tell you? Yes, please. <laughs> six of diamonds. Six of diamonds. Is yeah. that your final answer? That's my final answer. Do you want to phone a friend? Uh, no. no. Okay. So we'll take out the six. Now, Kath, you could have thought of any card in the deck, but you thought of the six of diamonds, okay? Now, one thing I didn't say is that little man, he's not actually just drawn on the back of one card. He's actually drawn on the back of every single card. But in every single picture, he is slightly different. Kath, can you see his hand? Moving up there, he's oh, yeah. okay. So what I want everyone to do is to look at the back of the cards there. Let's get a nice, oh how professional. Okay. <laughs> so what I want everyone to do is to look at the back of the cards and watch. He's reaching up, he's taking off his hat, he's reaching inside and he's going to pull out a card. Not just any card, Kath, but it's actually the card you were thinking of, the Six of Diamonds. One more time, he reaches in and he pulls out the six of diamonds, the one that you were merely thinking of, <laughs> and even I don't know how that one is. That is the coolest. I, do you know, I had heaps of questions here and they've all gone completely out of they my have, head. That's I'm good. Going, how I'm going, did he do I that? I can go home, do my lawn. That's the only question I have. How did you do that? Stay afterwards and tell me, okay? Okay. Whisper. For a small fee. Whisper. Okay. That was awesome, Mick. Thanks so much for coming in. Thank you, Kath. Lovely to be here. And until we meet again, everyone stay bright, do right, don't get tight or high as a kite. Try not to fight, stay home at night, keep out of sight, and you'll be all right. Kath, thank you very much. <laughs>